Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we already knew that Sun Wukong is just f***ing different. I, my bad for believing that everyone knew that Sun Wukong was just strong as shit. With the release of his new game, people are just like, I didn't know he was built like that. I didn't know Sun Wukong was that strong, for being honest. I, I didn't know he had aura like that. There's an anime character based off of Sun Wukong. Uh, he goes by the name of Goku. Do you think Sun Wukong is strong in the game? You have no idea how busted this actually is. So I want to tell you a little bit about him because I actually love Sun Wukong. You need to know about this crazy is that he ate from the heavenly banquet and turned himself immortal. But at the same time, he walked up to the book of life and death and wiped his name from the pages. Even though he's immortal, he's technically not alive or dead because he wiped himself from the book of life and death. Let's move on to his weapon of choice right here, the staff, the Jingu Bang. This is a metal staff that has the ability to grow or shrink in size. It also happens to weigh eight metric tons. Also in some version of the story, the Jingu Bang is holding up the Milky Way galaxy. So there's that. So there was this dude named Lao Tzu. I don't know much about Lao Tzu, but he had this crucible called the Eight Trigrams Crucible, and he locked Sun Wukong inside of this thing. After 49 days, someone unlocks it. He jumps out stronger than ever, and now he has the ability to see evil in all forms. Now for his abilities, yes, it keeps going. He has this thing that he learned called the 72 Transformations. This allows him to transform into any object or person, living or dead, animate or inanimate, ever existing ever he can transform into anything he also has the ability to how am i going to put this he has eighty-four thousand hairs on his body he is able to transform every single one of them into whatever he wants including clones of himself what i mean by that okay imagine you're fighting sun wukong you blink and now there's eighty-four thousand and one sun wukongs yeah that's what i mean he also learn the technique called for the dragon ball people cloud traveling which allows him to travel on clouds he also learned something called cloud somersaulting which allows him to somersault on a cloud. And one somersault lets him travel 34,000 miles. Yeah, he also did this thing where he fought 100,000 celestial soldiers. Each of those soldiers had the powers of a celestial body. You know, like stars and constellations and shit. He fought space. Also in training, he just threw two mountains on his back and was still able to travel at the speed of an asteroid. <laughs> this isn't even half of the shit that he can do. This guy was only ever defeated, from my understanding, by Buddha by the Buddha, but then he was granted Buddhahood and then he became a living Buddha in some stories. But he was only defeated by Buddha. Yes, I know, this is the Smite card. I love Smite, you got a problem? Yeah, if you ever think, oh, maybe Sun Wukong's busted. Yeah.